This is Mr. Biscuits, also known as Mr. B, as you've seen him already. But this is him this morning, being all spry. Anyway, we're going to do our work, and you can come along with us. Oh, there's your little basket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta have my egg basket and my little goodie bag there. Say hi. Hi. Show yourself. <laughs> I did, sort of. Hi. We got lots of racket going on, of course, as always. That's the buffs. That's our American buffs back there, making yeah. all the noise. They probably go, have an egg in there. Yeah. That we're gonna, yeah. She's got the nest covered up. Yep. There's an egg. All right. Colored chicks, they'll come out in a little bit. Now this is the real noise makers we're heading into. Those two separate. Oh, he's got blood on him. Oh, what happened, baby? Got blood. Fighting. They've been fighting bad. Oh, gotta let's check go. for eggs. Yeah, let's go see if we got any eggs. I hope that it didn't blast in my microphone. I bet it did. No, it didn't. These are pretty good. All right. Oh, that's up. Don't look like. Nothing. Man, that was hollowed out. No eggs last Nothing. night, huh? huh? Let's see if anybody got any over here. If she laid any. Nope. No. Nope. But we got, I think, three or four yesterday. Uh -oh. Oh, okay, let's look. We think they probably laid one today. Let me get down in there. Hold that. You didn't mind I got the top. Up. I got the top. Oh, she's just, no. she's going to lay one today. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <get> <laughs> All right. He doesn't take kindly to get him no. in the nest.
You ready? I know you're mad at me. It's okay. It's no, okay. Mr. Go Buff. about your it's business. All right, Mr. Buff. Go about your business. <laughs> Are you ready, guys? And I am going to be the popular woman. That's chicken crack. Yes. Oh, they're like, oh. No, not till I pour your food. I know, but you got to have your food first. Then we'll do the other. You going to get me today, dude? Sometimes yep. he likes to get me. Blue he boy. Don't bother me, just her. It just <laughs> depends on his mood. Not today. <laughs> he was being good today. Okay. Watch him. Come on, guys. Come on. Woohoo. God. Chicken cracks where it's at. <laughs> I'm kind of the uh, farm pusher woman. Pusher. <laughs> That's, that would be the 70s term. I don't know what they call it Pushing now. We're old, so that's the 70s term. They don't even know yet. Yeah, here's some over here. Keep calling them, they're, they're coming over here. I think they're afraid yeah, of me. We'll give them some right here. They're blues. Oh. Call those women. That is, we gotta get rid of that piece of stick. I don't know what hey, that's there for. A, this is a farm, there's, there's a ton we of got, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, sticks and crap yeah. laying everywhere. All right. All right, crack is done. I'll grab your basket. Oh yeah, a tisket, a tasket. My little black basket. Your little black basket. <laughs> All right, let's get. Oh. <clears throat> There we go. Thank you. You want me to shut it? Yeah. Shut it. Please. You can. Yes, yep. I can. Okay. Part two. Yeah. Up to the... Uh Good morning, everybody. 
Want me to leave the door open or you want yeah, me to shut it? Yeah, you can. We're going to open it anyway. Oh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and get the door all open. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get this over first. Get on to business. I'm going to set this down on the ground a second. I got, business. To, I got to get this coat off. And there was light. <laughs> light, there's light. Hey, lights on for everybody. Excuse the messy barn, but it's got animals in it. That's how yeah. it goes. Uh, let me let Victor out real quick. Okay. Then we'll check everything. <coughs> Hi, boy. You ready to go out this morning, boy? All right, Victor. And progress is being made on the new chicken run. And he'll have a video of that up. Birds. Come on, Victor. Hoping this will get all the geese out here in a minute. Come on. She's on the nest. Oh. I'll go check. Which one is it? Zoomy? Zoomy. They don't. Let me go check. It's okay, I'll go check. You wanna see? Yeah. Well, show him. Show him where she's on the nest. Yeah, come and Are you taking care of your babies? Oh, oh let's get her oh. oh, one, two. Ooh. Look at the size. Aren't they yeah, nice? That's pretty juicy. Yeah. Yes, honey. Here, baby. It's all right, Zoomy. <laughs> come on. Here you go, baby. <laughs> You can go on out with them. I'm going to set these eggs over here. Okay. I'll show you two loose here. Let me go shut. Okay. Let me go shut the gate. Okay. All right, you guys. I know. I know. They're ready to kill. I'm going to put your hand down there. They'll get you. Mm -hmm. I know. That's... That's Turtle Man right there. See? Whoa. Yeah, they're looking. They're protecting. We got a nest right there. And one right there. I'll back away. <laughs> Loud. <laughs> Let's go. I need to feed the chickens first before they go out. Oh, you do? Okay. This will get them started. <laughs> Uh, I won't take any won't take chicken crack out right now. Oh, okay. I want them to eat their food first. Oh, we'll just leave that open. They're so addicted, they don't want to eat their food. Yeah. Now, I got to explain something here. <laughs> if I don't go in with a net sometimes with him, I never know his mood. And then him is chance. Uh, he, where did I do with it? Oh, over here. He sometime will try to kick my butt. <laughs> it depends on his mood, but you know, otherwise we won't keep a mean rooster around, but he's, he's our boy. We yeah, just, he's... and he doesn't, I mean, his sons and grandsons, sweet as can be. If you look but, at his comb and waddles are still... Oh, it was bad yeah, this still last black. time. They're already rounded. This is the third time he's had a uh, major frostbite. So what he's are you going to do? He's been a good boy today. But huh? I got to check. I, let me check for my egg. This is the ones I'm wanting to hatch from. He may try to get me here. We no, may get it on camera. He's in the front. Oh. Clear. oh, she's on the nest. So who is that? Who are you, honey? I wish I had my glasses on. I could, can't see her band. 
Uh, oh, it's black eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've got to mark that egg that that's black eyes. Thank you, Chance. There you go, Easter. He's got to go back. All the roosters are going to have to be removed again soon. And then we'll just put them back in for like a week at a time just to make sure the hens are, are kept fertilized. Their eggs. <laughs> the hens are kept. The hens' eggs. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> right. Our roosters don't have eggs yet. No. So it keeps the hens' eggs fertilized. Hello, dears. Hello, my little dears. Hello. Hello, my darlings. They're very personable girls and boys. And it's not going to be very long, and oh. we'll be tearing all these pins yeah, down. Yeah, all be this. Back there. I've oh, yeah. Just got a little bit of work left on the fences. Yeah, we'll go over and show what. Are it, oh, are you waiting for yeah, your no, sure, we video? Can go. No, we I'm can not go. trying to. In case your video, if you wasn't wanting no, to do that. No, we can yet. go back, take a peek. Let me get everybody some food first. You guys get to come out in a little while. We didn't let them out because we thought we forgot to clip their wings and we didn't want to go through all that because when we move them, we're going to be picking them all up, weighing them, doing all that. We thought we'll just clip their wings right. and then we remembered it's, when it's we, those there that have not been clipped. Yeah, these were, so because I, I saw them flying one day, well, it was an old video. <coughs> but we don't want to lose any of our chickens, so. I'm going to explain a little something here, too, in a minute about these little, I'll do it now, these little splash girls right here, they're, they got the little dots. Of course, that's from breeding my blue rooster to blue hen. But the reason we're not keeping them to, because they can produce black, blue, or splash, their tails, if you notice, kind of when they walk, go to the side. That's called a rye tail. And you don't want to breed that. And they both have a rye tail. And I noticed, actually, when I was videoing our colored girls, that one of my blue girls has a rye tail. So she won't be used in breeding, but she's got my pet, so I'll be keeping her just for eggs and I'll remove her when it's breeding, you know, so time. I have a question then on the uh -huh. rye tail stuff. Yeah. Just so I understand it, but okay, so the tail, it's not like fixed on one side, always crooked. It can go. Yeah, they, they just move. They never, it should be nice when, you know, of course they're going to move it if they're getting up against something, but when they're walking, it shouldn't be cocked to the side like that all the time. And if I have any white ones like that, they'll go too. We don't keep rye tails. And rye tails can be in any species of animal. You got to watch goats for rye tail, horses for rye tail. And that's the case, you just don't want to breed that animal. That's how it is. Oh, are you going to squat for me? <laughs> <She's> squat. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> Let's feel you while you're squatting. Oh, she's nice. Look at that breast. Beautiful girl. Yeah. That scared her. What happened? Well, the rooster is there, and you picked the pan up real quick and set it down. Oh. And they was, I guess, focused on a rooster. Well, and they... I'm sorry, girls. My goodness. When you did that fast movement, uh, movement yeah. it, <laughs> but it anyway, caught them off guard. That You're was not usually flighty. <laughs> just a little lesson for the day about right some, and just because you see all these chickens doesn't mean we're keeping them all. We haven't had a chance to go through them, as I said in a previous video. And of course, you know, this little guy here is just our pet. Here, let's step. We're not breeding from these hens. They're too young. I gotta put a little bit on the ground for Spraddle because he doesn't like going 
And the reason for this, I get hens that want to perch up. No, no crack yet, on the, Sprat. On the water handle. They want to prop up on that, and then they'll poop in my waters. So yeah. we try to put things up there to keep from that happening. Well. <laughs> well, hello, ladies. Oh, these are my... That's one of, uh, if you saw the other video, if you don't, go back and watch, if you don't mind. This is from my girl, Wheezy. She's was our favorite and just the most beautiful, wonderful girl. And we lost her. She was our older girl. And we lost her in that horrible heat. And uh, we've got three daughters with the green band. That is daughters of Wheezy. And Peepers actually is a son of Wheezy. Wheezy and Chance. So those are our legacy flock, like yeah. um, Bobblehead Homestead. <clears throat> He's me. got a legacy flock from his favorite girl. And so we're going to do the same thing as Bobblehead and uh, be having our Wheezy legacy flock. Yeah. And if she wasn't a nice chicken, we wouldn't have done it, but she totally is. Yeah, poo poo poo. <laughs> poo 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 poo. I need to check my waters. Uh, I doubled up on the waters that have the more hens. Three batches. Look up there. <laughs> oh, Mr. B, what are you doing? What are you doing up there? Oh, I didn't check eggs over here. Oh, we got two hens in the nest. Come here oh, and look. <laughs> little girls. So oh, this girls. One. You what guys, are you doing? Yeah. You don't what need to be in the same doing? one. You three boxes. What you doing, girls? All right, she's bailing. She's bailing too. It's okay. There's three eggs in here. Oh, good. That way they won't be wrestling and break any. You see any over there? Nope. Just she go, okay, we'll let you have that one. Go ahead and get your business done. See, their eggs are, they're just now laying again. So I want to show them. They're just not big enough to hatch from. That's why you have to really wait till March or April. When they quit laying for any reason and they start back laying again, their, le their eggs are small. Jeez. But they'll get back normal size again. I'll just set them in here for the moment. Let me go check. Uh, I'll check over here and I'll be right back. Hey, no, I'll get your chicken stuff in a minute, okay? Nope. Something we want to say, um, we don't want to forget, and while I'm thinking about it, we wanted to say thank you. We appreciate the comments and the likes and you subscribe and that means everything to people when they're starting a channel yeah and uh, we enjoy doing it and if there's anything anybody wants to see that we're not doing just let us know want to come and we'll see if there's okay. one she's built her nest it looks really neat so i thought you might want to show it i'll let them come out first you and want? then we'll go in oh so we're going to put them up come on okay Oh. Come on, let's go, guys. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Now we can go check. <laughs> you can you can at least see how the nest is. Oh, there may be something. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Nope. Usually, man, she has that built up like this high around oh, the outside. Oh, okay, so they quit nesting on the other side. Yeah, that was the, that wasn't them. That was when the Africans were in here. She had a oh, nest over oh, that's there. that's right. That's right. So I guess they're not, not going to use their nest. No, open this up, let that be open so he can look out. And uh, now I guess we can, let me shut this and we'll go show them your progress. Okay. Sure. Chickens and geese are going to be super happy. All right. And actually now we know that in this batch of Toulouse, 
that we have uh, three girls and two boys. You want to point them out? Can you point them out? Yeah, I can point them out. And you'll see that the boys walk with their heads up and make more racket. This one right here is a girl. The one at the far left and the one at the far right with the little delicate head. Those two that are making the racket in the middle there, those are the boys. One of the them, ganders. One of them she calls Turtle Man. He's the one that yeah. does that real loud. Hey! Have you ever watched that show Turtle Man that was on Animal Planet, I think, or Discovery? He goes, la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this one does. Sounds just like Turtle Man. So that's what we call him. He's the one that bit me a while ago. Oh, he's bit me too. Luann but didn't see that. He didn't till the girls started laying, and that's his job. You can't. You can't feel bad at a gander for protecting his girls and his eggs. And, and he even, they protect the chickens out here too. The hen is in there laying an egg and the geese were all down here in their little swimming pools. They heard her making racket. They all had to come down here to make sure that she's okay. They're, I'm telling you, they are worth their weight in gold, geese. Even though they don't want to buddy with chickens, they got to have their own space. And they're bossy. They watch over the chickens. They totally do. When they hear chickens squawking, they have to go and make sure everything's okay. And they just did. And then they knew it was okay, so they're heading back. Heading back up. Watch out, you'll trip over these, these flighty chickens we have. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we'll go see progress. Oh, my friend Sally came over the other day and she's never met the Hi, Africans. Sally. <laughs> Hi, Sally. She's never met the Africans and Tuli and Zumi attacked her when she got this near one, me. This one's Tuli there. You little Tuli right here attacked her, her and little Zumi. Oh man, I had to swish him away because every time Sally, when she walked up kind of near me and they were just gonna take her out. Weren't you girls? You were afraid they were gonna hurt your mama. And that one's Zumi. Yeah, but anyway, let's show them what you did here. Yeah. You go ahead and I'll let you explain it. Okay, so. Here, give me this and you can explain it. Here, or I can sit down, we can book up. Okay. So first we, uh, if, if you remember before we had, there was like three corner posts here, then there was a gate opening and two posts right there for that fence row that's there. So we shifted the, the uh, pin perimeter out to here. So that fence there comes down. This fence is now in place. I could have put a T post here, but I didn't. I just tied it in. It's very. Yeah, it's just geese. They're not going to knock it well, down. Well, that's pretty stout. I would yeah. trust it with a hole. Oh yeah, they're stout. And so anyway, so we got post all put in place, and uh, this fence pretty pretty good and tight, at least for now anyway. And um, then I'll show you down here. So today that fence is going to middle fence is going to come out. First, I gotta fix a mistake that I did on another fence. Baby, it's cold outside. Yeah. Not today. Not today. <laughs> but of course, I think that's yeah. such a ridiculous thing that they can't play that song anymore. That's why I got oh, this yeah, shirt. Yeah, just That's stuff. absolutely ridiculous. So this fence here, you can see I've got it. This one was done and in place. And Ooh. of course we're gonna, yeah, I gotta watch Woo. this. And so I pulled it out yesterday, but there was a place down there. I had the truck backed up. I was stretching that fence using the truck. And- He um, made a boo-boo. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I pulled the truck away, I forgot to take the chain off of the ball hitch and it just, it pulled the fence out. So now I got to restretch this today and staple it down. And then when I get done with that, then I'm gonna move this gate right here over to here. And um, then there's a, a square six by six. 
there. That's going to go. I have to cut that off even. Yeah, but show all your stand up there. down here that stand you up did. The, yeah, you see how tall she was. So for us, we can clear right under it. But anyway, that way I don't have to put another post in and a brace. So I'll just put that, that six by six on top like and I had it over there. You got your fence all over here too. Yes. Stretched out. Yep. All here. Yep. Down to there. And we still have to put fence over that gate yeah and we're gonna get one of those filled gates later on down there but for right now we just want to show them that gate down there yeah i will we went we went all the way up and uh i put a new post there we had a six by six oak post but it was rotted in the ground so we pulled all that i gotta go cut, put that back up so chickens can't come over They're remember okay. last night they can't get out over here i'll what? show you if you walk down here with me they can the gate. If something comes in the gate, I don't I'll, want them I'll over. I'll fix that today. You got one chicken over here already. Oh, girlfriend. No, you don't. <laughs> you going back over there. Get back over there. Uh-oh. Oh, I had a feeling. They'll be, they'll be all here. right because it won't be long and I'll be back out here and I'll but she's by herself. If something comes in, they're gonna get her. I don't feel comfortable. Oh. Let me, uh, get over there. You get back over there. Go on. Tap the bottom of the floor, maybe she'll, there, there we go. Get back over there. We oh, they can't there. wait to get over to their new place. I don't yeah. blame them. She had a blockade all right there last night. And can't moved, blame them a so bit. Walk through and... There we go. Now I feel better. Okay. Can't lose none of my chickens. And the only other hole is over there by the little little coop over there. So we got that blocked already. So yeah, just, anyway, uh, so this part is all done. I got these six and a half foot T posts here. So if I want to, I can put a strand or even two of barbed wire, barbed wire. <laughs> Bob wire where I come we from. We say Bob wire around here. And uh, anyway, so so this comes on down here. And here's the this big gate here. She's worried because a fox could jump through here. Anything. Right. So I, I have to put some wire or, or something there so they can't come through that gate. And then I'm, I'm going to make a custom gate for this opening right here. And... Uh, so, but this one's so I can drive a, the tractor or a truck through. So, so that's it. So everything is all really ready to go. Once Except I get, moving our chicken pins in place yeah, where we want them. And this isn't where they stay. That's going to be the big job. Believe right. it or not, we've got to take all these kennels down. We've got to move our chicken houses and kind of re redo them now. Yeah. Because we... I wanted, before I had to kind of go in a couple of these pins to open the doors to clean it, and it's too rough on me now to be pulling those heavy, you know, things out when I clean. So we're gonna have it where I can open all the doors from the outside and clean, because that just makes it easier. Yeah. Easier for me. I told him, and we both agree, at our age, it has to be somewhat easy. Hands don't work. Yeah. Knees don't work, back don't work, all, that, all the things. This is going to make it a lot nicer for the chickens just oh. in this immediate area. It increases. And going you know, over there. Right, and, and look, at, look at where all the horses, because it used to be part of the, the uh, horse pen. And so all that old manure, oh boy, when they get there, they're going to They're going to dig that, that to pieces. Right. But then they'll be over here getting all the grass and yeah. bugs and over there right so that's why that gate there is yeah. to give them access to go over here and then these pins will get situated all pins there will be one pin situated here and there will be three of these pins here one two and three where the one is and then their houses goes on the end you see she was already like ooh. yeah i know she was almost that. to where uh, yeah that manure, whoops where that manure is. We have that up because the wind and rain was coming really bad from the south. 
So that keeps well, it from raining in on It's been up since the, the uh, Arctic blast. Yeah, we had them kind of closed right. in on both sides. So they could come out and eat and drink and stay out of the wind, but right. that'll be going because that whole thing's coming down. All yeah. those kennels well, coming down. we would have already taken it down because this is where they get their sunlight, but since they have a long pen, they get sunlight They go out there. too. Yeah. They go out and pick around, but it's... That's him, he's up on top of that. No, I'm hearing a oh. goose. Maybe she's laying an egg, it could be. Oh, I thought you meant it with the cat. No. <clears throat> so that's this, so let's let's uh, go get them horses out and then yeah. go have some breakfast. Yeah. I'm hungry. Animals get before we get our breakfast, that's how it is. Yeah. They can't get up and get food. Sometimes it's me going out and doing morning stuff while she's cooking breakfast. Sometimes it's both of us going out. We she don't does have one half. Yeah. It's, it's just, just whatever. Right. We just make it work. Yeah. That's how we do it. We don't have a set schedule. 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 Our schedule is just left up in the air. That's when we're fancy.